the actions panel of our performance detail tool allows you to change how our performers react in certain situations. The default is standing at attention, but we can change that. So let's say we want our clarinets to put them up on count five, go into the playing position. Now let's say on count seven, we want to give them a pop. You can see that in action. And there you have it. As with all events, it is also possible to create a ripple. So let's go back and try that. First, I'm going to delete these events. Select and press delete. Now we'll go back to the beginning and note that our blue marker is at the beginning. We're going to move this marker to count four. So we're going to have a four count ripple of a playing event. Note that the events play from the beginning of our selection to the end of our selection. So the person who is marked with the deep red will be the first person to put out their clarinet. So let's go play and press apply. There you have it. You note that since we are on count one, only the first two people put out their clarinet. But as you go through it, you'll see them come up. So let's just watch that one in action first. Pretty straightforward. Good. Now we're going to do a pop event that overlaps that just a little bit. So we're going to start on count two, our blue marker on count two, and our purple marker on count six. And then we're going to create a pop action. Press apply. Now we'll watch this. And there you have it. We can also do something similar with our color guard members. Now notice that I have all three major pieces of equipment set up here. We have the flags, our sabers, and our rifles. So we come down here to the action section in our performance detail tool. Um, the default is set. So as you can see as I play it through, they just hold their equipment. Very straightforward. You also notice that the flag is in the down position. We can add a spin action. So we can apply that, and we can watch that animation. Very cool. Okay, now I'm going to add a toss action now. Um, something that you need to know about the toss action, it only happens once. So you're not going to get a continuous toss action. This is the only thing that does not continue on. So if we have the spin animation like we currently do, the spin will continue on after our toss is completed. So let's add on another couple sets here just so that we can get the full effect of this. So let's put a toss on count four. And we'll watch this play. There you have it.